which is rods and carts this is the third activity in arithmetic uh, earlier the child was introduced to number rods and then sand paper figures uh, now it is rods and carts so as i have already told quantities are of two types quantities of variables and quantity of groups here we are going to use quantity of variables which is nothing but they look similar vary in size and fixed material quantity of groups is nothing but very similar and they are loose materials right uh, so as the child was initially introduced to red rods or long rods which we i have explained in another video so once the child is able to arrange long rods properly in the way we have shown then we introduce to number rods right once the child is able to arrange number rods and then after introducing sandpaper figures the third we then we will show this activity where the child can associate quantities with the symbols so in montessori uh, the whole philosophy in arithmetic uh it is based on a simple pattern first they introduce quantities and then symbols and then the third activity to to associate quantities with symbols now let's quickly get into the activity now yes to do this activity as i have already mentioned we need two dimensional representation of number rods okay so i have done uh, this material just using chart paper okay just by looking at this material uh, the how i have done you can do this and i have 10 cards here okay from 1 to 10 written starting from 1 to and it's arranged in a stack so we need 10 cards 1 to 10 and we have this two dimensional representation of number rods it's very simple so uh, montessori always says that recognize what the child has already conquered or whatever you have like if you are going to show you a new material you have to think about what is the child's past what is the, what what the child has already learned what the child has already achieved so based on that uh we we introduce the next material okay so the, now the uh, based on the previous uh, videos we have introduced number rods and using sandpaper figures we have introduced symbols now using this rods and cards we are going to help the child to associate quantity with symbols okay so as usual we start any activity with invitation you can say uh, shall i show you rods and cards today okay and uh, ask the child uh, ask the child because they know to arrange this material okay so that is why we are showing this so the next instruction would be take the child to the display and ask the child to arrange the number rods okay so if the child if, uh, is able to arrange then we can show this activity they may need little help that time we can help so always montessori says we can do the right help in the right time in the right manner right now and if you see we have arranged like this in left alignment can you guess why it is so we always write from left to right okay so whatever montessori has designed no all her thoughts is based on some inner significance so from left to right once the child is a uh, no fin once the child finishes arranging the number rods like this starting from 1 and then finishing off with 10 then we can start the activity make sure the child is sitting on your left now ask this is just say this is and the child will say rod of 1 or uh, as it is a two dimensional material if you have introduced like strip of 1 the child may say strip of 1 so if you ask this is 
the child will say either rod of one or strip of one then take the card and show so let's keep it here again us this is the child may count and say one two or simply by as they if they have uh, repeated many times just by looking at it they the, the child may recognize and say rod of two or strip of two now take the card let's place it here now we can ask the child would you like to do it then the child may take the cards and arrange the child may count and arrange even 1 2 3 4 and then take the card and place 4 so similarly once the child proceeds we have to just observe just see how the child is arranging whether the child is able to recognize as such or the child is counting and then recognizing the number okay when it comes to 10 uh, if you have introduced zero in sandpaper figures then you have to say this is how 10 is written 1 0 okay because in sandpaper figures um, usually we introduce zero so when it comes to 10 we have to say that this is how 10 is written so when the child is keeping here just say this is this is how 10 is written and let, and the child will place the cards this way you can do the same activity in a different way like uh you can ask what is a card okay uh show the card and ask what is this the child will say one now you can ask can you go and bring rod of one or strip of one so you can change the command and uh, you can do in a succession okay like 2 3 4 5 now if you ask like what is this the child will say 6 now you can ask the child to go and bring rod of 6 so i will give you a different exercise also so the now the rods are arranged in succession okay now you can ask the child to arrange the rods in random ask the child simply say keep the rods mixed up so the child will keep the rods mixed up for example like this okay just mixed up let's keep it all mixed up okay now take the cards now you can ask what is this the child will say one and the you can ask the child can you uh, show me rod of one or strip of one then the child will find out and then ask the child to place the card can you place this card near rod of one then the child will place it so similarly you can do for rest of the numbers till 10 otherwise what you can do even you can ask the car uh, i mean even you on showing the rods okay which is in random okay now for example this uh, strip ask the child to count 1 2 3 4 5 so now ask the child to pick the card 5 and ask the child to place it on top of it so you can continue uh, you can ask the child to continue till all the cards have been placed so this is another way of working with the same material so what is the direct aim here so just making the child conscious of uh, uh like how like more than conscious like we are helping the child to associate quantities with symbols so what is why, why we have to introduce this way in traditional schools just like that we have accepted if it is written on the board right here the child realizes each and every like uh, every quantity the child is able to realize because they are see uh, using their visual sense they are able to understand like a long one 
should be eight or nine <clears throat> so here the child and realizes each and every quantity okay so i hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video subscribe to our channel thank you